So why did Reverend Schofield change the definition of El Shaddai to begin with, right? Well, let's look at what the word used to mean, right? And don't forget, a word can have more than one meaning, you know. <laughs> Don't seem to have a problem with that if it does. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now, Shaddai is found in a group of words in the Hebrew anyway, mm -hmm. starting with SH. Right. So, mm -hmm. here it is, Shaddai, mm -hmm. or Shaddai, from seventy-seven oh three, the Almighty. No. So let's see what 7703 is. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's Shaddad, right? But it has two D's, right? And, uh, right. Powerful. Mm hmm. <clears throat> Age, dead, destroy, or right. oppress, <sighs> land, soil, and uh, right. Oh, sorry. Oh, no. Mm-hmm. Robber, spoiler, right? Is that why he changed it to female breasts? Right. It's kind of negative here, ain't it? <laughs> it is, right. Even Shiva is known as both the creator and destroyer, right? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> but... Is our God both creator and destroyer? Or is that all on Satan? Right. And his sin. Right. See, he too was in Eden. Right. You you don't want to deal with that. <laughs> that he was. That he was. You're lying about it. Now, there are two trees mentioned you're not the eat of. Right. I know. I guess, right. Or to do the works of, right. Now, the tree of life seems to be the being teaching us the good in day six, right. But in day seven, one of them, one of them, <laughs> teaches us the knowledge of good and evil. Mm -hmm. The man has become as one of us to know good and evil, right. Well, he's talking to the same beings he made us in its image by, all right? Who's he talking to there? <laughs> some say the angels, some say the other gods, right? Even, because Elohim is plural, mm -hmm. whereas El and El He are singular, right? And El Hinu means our God, right? Mm hmm. But it's still pronounced El Hinu, right? <laughs> no. 
in the Hebrew. I don't know. Not hating it, right? <laughs> mm hmm. So, uh, there's also a Sade mm -hmm, with a Y, mm -hmm. Sade, mm -hmm. or Sha-Dai, right? That's similar too. But, uh, but this is soil, mm -hmm. land, right? And, uh, right? Ground, field, country. Flat, mm hmm. Field, right? Well, why does that apply? Because we were formed from the dust of the earth, or that would be technically our mother, right? Think about it. <laughs> should I, or should I, right? <laughs> Is referencing the mother, right? From which we were made, right? The matter. Of the earth itself, right? And we're not just random matter, right? We're specific elements in the matter, right? right. We're not a stone. Why? Because a stone alone doesn't make up the human body. We're not clay. We're not gold. We're not silver. We're not <laughs> wood. We're not, right? <laughs> We're a combination of certain materials that right, that make up our body. Mm -hmm. Instead of being nourished by water like a tree, we have blood pumping through our body, right? Well, so does the tree bring in the water to nourish itself, right? And a green tree is different than a dry tree, <laughs> Like Jesus said, <laughs> if they do these things to the green, what shall be done to the dry? <laughs> and again, mm -hmm. John and Jesus are both comparing men to trees, right? And every tree that brings forth not good fruit is cut down and cast into the fire. He's talking to us, right? <laughs> In a metaphor, <laughs> Referring to men as trees, right? And that's going over your head, it seems, right? It's a metaphor, right? We're human trees, right? And the problem is... They have to figure out a way to co compensate with the population, right? Over the last thousand, hundred years, right? <laughs> The population has almost quadrupled, right, to 7 million. Mm. I know. Well, another problem is there's is if there's enough food to feed everybody. Well, yes and no. Yes and no. See, we all want to buy and sell everything, right? <laughs> but what about free food, right? <laughs> you know, give someone something for free, <laughs> right? Y'all are less likely to do that than, you know, let the food go bad, right? Or throw it away. Mm -hmm. Like I told you when I was working at Burger King, we would throw out some good Whoppers, right? Which could be given to the poor, right? And again, right, why doesn't Burger King do that, though? Because if you can get a Whopper for free, right? There's a chance you won't buy the Whopper from the store, right? <laughs> That's kind of a lie, huh? <laughs> but if all you got to do is wait so long and they discard them, right, or throw them in the trash, not that they're bad burgers or anything, even if you cook on a grill, right, and refrigerate the burgers, they're still good for a day or two, right? <laughs> Well, they just throw them out, right? <laughs> That's wasting food, right? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And greed is the reason for that, right? Because if you're a homeless person, you can get a Whopper for free, right? Even if it's just the meat in the bun, right? Of course, <laughs> more people might want to be a bum, huh? Right? As they call them, right? <laughs> Or Lazarus, who sat at 
the gate of the poor man, right? The, of the rich man, right? Mm hmm. But see, God sees that. I don't know. God sees the rich taking advantage of and creating the poor, right? And everybody needs food, right? Since the fall as well. Mm hmm. But the thing is, food, not even the banana, again, <laughs> can make you aware you're naked. Unless you're putting the banana somewhere it don't belong, and something's putting that in your head, right? To begin with. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> and where'd you come up with that idea, anyway? <laughs> Something different, some different kind of fruit something wants you to do or work or work. <laughs> Put it in your butt, why don't you? <laughs> well that that's an idea. <laughs> Is it a good idea or a bad one? That's what you gotta determine for yourself, right? Right. Now see the problem is all forms of sex though can be done t many ways. Consensually, right? Rape or not at all, right? Three ways, three ways. <laughs> Even when you choose not to have sex, though, it don't mean you're not thinking about it. <laughs> Which, if you read that right, what Jesus said in Matthew, <laughs> even thinking about it, if you do something versus something else, can be bad for you, I know. See, again, right, he's telling you a whole story there, right, <laughs> about a certain topic, right, which includes not to judge, right, as they judged in the past, right. Well, what are they judging? Who you even sleep with, right? They're telling you don't sleep with the man, don't sleep with the woman, don't sleep with the opposite sex. I don't know. Unless you're legally married, I guess, right? Some interpret it that way. Though Moses does allow for it, right? If you have premarital sex, too, right? When you leave that scripture out, and it's in the Bible, too, and then you tell people to wait for marriage, you're usurping Moses, right? And what he said about it, for real, isn't it, right? Like Jesus is pointing out in the new himself, when the disciples were picking showbread, I mean, corn, right? David ate of the showbread, which is also unlawful for anyone but the Levites to eat of, right? So again, right? Sometimes you're just freaking hungry and want something to eat, and there's something available to you, and you eat it, right? You don't have a day, right? And even if you have a double portion from the day before, you still got to pick it up and put it to your mouth. Right. And yet priests work on the Sabbath day and they're not charged, right? That's the point. <laughs> Don't you see I know, what Jesus means? You're hypocrites when you do that, right? You're actors, right? You're pretending that you're not working when you are. I don't know. To put food to your mouth as a work, right? Because it don't go there unless you do something. <laughs> you got to pick up a utensil or the food on prepared for you, right? And then you got to prepare the food, right? That's a work, you know. <sighs> it's like stoning the Egyptian who put up picked up sticks on the Sabbath day. That's an example of going overboard with the law. Mm -hmm. All the man did was pick up a few sticks. But the Lord told them to stone him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> or is that, again, the point? If God does that, he's both Blessing and cursing the person who's just picking up a few sticks on the Sabbath day, right? 
versus you when you eat something, that's a work too. Right. Yet you can eat your food on the Sabbath day or walk around your house. That's a work too, by the way. The only way you cannot do something is if, A, you lay in bed all day and fast, right? And don't eat anything, right? Then you're not doing the work. <laughs> then you're not doing anything, not even eating, right? <laughs> if you take the law too far. Mm -hmm. That's what it means. That's why Jesus went and stoned the wife caught in the act of adultery, right? <laughs> now, the question is, why are they rubbing the nose in it <laughs> of Jesus and the woman but didn't bring the man? Right. See, if my wife cheats on me and I'm in the temple preaching to the crowd, right, I'm not aware of what she's doing. I'm preaching to the crowd, right? But if you know it's my wife... <laughs> And you catch her with another man, right? Because you're watching me in her, right? And it's not at a time people normally have sex anyway, so you know it's sometime in the early morning, right? One, you don't know she wasn't with me too the night before, right? By the way, by the way. <laughs> and two, right? You're supposed to bring them both. Right? <laughs> they just brought the wife to him. Right. To kind of say, hey, while you're at the temple, your wife is with another man. <laughs> Don't that make more sense? They're trying to make him mad <laughs> that his wife was with another man. So he'll stone her and see, again, Jews aren't allowed to do that because of Rome, for one, right? And, right, the other reason is you're supposed to bring him both, right? So he still couldn't stone her according to the law either of Moses, right? Now, even if your wife is doing anything wrong, right, or right, and she gets caught, right, you are still the soul her, not pit, have pity on her. Right. Mm -hmm. But that's mainly having to do with witchcraft. Right. Too, too. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. See, that's called reading the whole Bible mm -hmm. and not parts of it. Right. To understand what's really being said. Right. As a whole and not a part. Right. Now, even the Bible, though, talks about confession of your sins being better than hiding it, right? In Proverbs and the Song of Solomon and Ecclesiastes, right? To confess is better than to hide it, right? Now, that's why I say openly gay people are better off than people who are still in the closet or even those who rape people into it, right? When they're too young to understand what they're doing and try to make them gay for the rest of their life, right? That's not God either. God's merciful, right? Not condemning, right? Right. Now, either you have mercy and pardon someone, or you don't and condemn them, right? And then you try to punish them or sanction them or whatever, right? And again, and again. We all do right and wrong. We all have to make those kind of judgments every day, right? Even with Russia and Ukraine, right? So again, right? I'm not saying I know everything about the war. I only know what I watch on TV like everyone else, idiot, right? <laughs> but when you be a smart ass about it, you don't know more than me either, right? Even if you're bringing up something I didn't address yet, right? Or may have left out in my commentary on it, right? Which is all I'm doing, like everybody else, right? 
I'm commenting on it, right? <laughs> and I'm telling you where I'm coming from. And I'm explaining it, right? Now, they're also lying because Shade also be, is a way to spell a woman's breast in, a, in the Hebrew. Mm -hmm. Now, when I look it up later on, I'll show you that. Right? So they're lying, and that's why Schofield right, turned it Shaddai into also applying to a woman's breast, right? And like I said, all I can do is read it to you from his Bible, mm -hmm. which was put out in 1909, right? And was rewritten several times. Mm -hmm. And this here is about Adon and Adonai, right? Mm -hmm. Right here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, what a commentary does is it fills in gaps or gives you information people don't want to deal with. All right, too, too. Right, right, or are missing, right? Mm hmm. The root word, though, is shad, right? Mm hmm. When you say it, it's Shad Dai, right? Well, those words have an individual meaning, which means single female breast suckling a child, right? Usually how it's used, right? And, right, Dai means enough, right? And I showed you that too, right? And even it could be spelled with a double D or a single D, right? Huh, uh, is that why? Is that why? Schofield said all this, right? If Schofield said it too, I'm not the only one to see it. And this was before the Gnostic writings were discovered in 1945, which they're talking about the aeons or the ones in heaven, right? being androgynous in nature, right? Or what the Greeks call hermaphrodites, right? Where do you think I got the idea from? I read it in the Gnostic Gospels, which was discovered in 1945, which the Orthodox banned from the Bible. But what do you think there is neither Jew nor Gentile bond nor free male and female means Orthodox? Exactly what the Gnostics said, right? In fact, Paul in Corinthians 11 says, Neither is the woman independent of the man, nor the man independent of the woman in who? The Lord, right? That also means his body, right? Because we being many are one body in Christ, right? He said that in Romans, right? And you're ignoring it, which means you're going to be punished by Satan.